what up tube today is monday uh april 22nd 23rd i think um uh, headed to the shop right now it's gonna be a relatively busy day uh, today's segment guys you know what i want to talk about i want to talk about what's gonna happen to you or to your body after being a barber for so many years So what's going to happen to your body after doing this job for so many years? Um, first of all, let me tell you. Myself, I got into this business and uh, I got my barber's license in 2003. So I've been going for a few years now. 15 years, I think it is, uh, of cutting hair. So um, after cutting hair for so long, guys, uh, it, it, it really does take a toll on your body. And um, before I get started on this, I kind of want to—I want to thank uh, uh, one of the barbers that reached out onto me on on, um, on Instagram. He DM'd me and, and and let me know what what he wanted me to talk about this subject here. So uh, Zach Fry, thank you, bro. Uh, I just want to give you a shout out, and uh, we'll get on with this segment right now, guys. Okay. First of all, being a barber is not the hardest job in the world. It's not. It's not hard physical labor. Trust me. There's a lot of jobs out there that are a lot harder. Digging holes, being construction workers, being working out in the sun, being a roofer. You know, there's a lot of jobs that are very, very, very hard. Way harder than this job. Way harder. I mean, at my job, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I get to sit in a shop. It's nice and air conditioned. I get to listen to music. I got TVs going. It's not so bad. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as you think it is. I had a customer one time tell me, like, you know what, man? You got it easy in here, bro. It's all air conditioned. You know, your blinds are down. There's no sun in your guys. You know, it's nice in here. I'm all like, yeah, it's 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 cool. It's cool. But you know what, guys? It's not that easy. When you're sitting behind the chair, working behind the chair, um, it, it, gets, it gets hard. It gets hard on your body. It's hard on your joints. It's hard on your knees. I mean, you're standing every day. I'm like... Uh, it gets hard on your elbows. I got shoulder problems. Um, I have the beginning stages of, uh, of carpal tunnel. Sometimes at night, my, my arm, my hands get, get numb, you know, they, they get, they, they, they hurt from just rep repetitive motion. Just think about it. Look at, uh, um, on the average myself, guys, I'm not going to lie. I probably do, uh, let's say, let's say I do 15 haircuts a day. Okay. 15 times. 15 times 5, that's uh, 65. 65, uh, that's 65 uh, 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 haircuts a week that I do. So that's probably 130, probably 250 haircuts a month. 250 haircuts a month times 12. So you're talking about uh, 25. Shoot, you're talking about almost 4,000 haircuts for the, for the year. I estimate probably 4,000 haircuts for the year. So you times that times the amount of years that I've been cutting hair. And, and, and of course, I, never, I didn't start off doing 4,000 haircuts a year. It doesn't start off like that, guys. You you literally have to start off at a slower pace and work your way up. And once you get seasoned, then you'll get good and you'll start doing more haircuts and stuff like that. But, you you, you know, when you first start off, you, you're going to work your way up. You you always look at a, a guy, more seasoned guy, and you'll look at him and say like, God damn, how many hair, how many haircuts can he do? Because I'm tired, I'm burned out. I see youngsters that do ten haircuts a day, and you know, in one day, and, and they're burned the hell out. They're burned the hell out. It takes a toll on your body, guys. It really does take a toll on your body. Lately, for me, it's been my elbow. My elbow's been killing me. Um, you know, a few years back, I I, I uh, my uncle uh gave me uh the chairs that belonged to my grandfather and um i restored them put them in my shop and they're beautiful chairs you know antiques over 100 years old uh, i love them i love them they're they're a heirloom to my family you know so uh, definitely a part of my my shop okay i started using those chairs about five years ago and uh, i just i love using it it's a great chair but over time pumping using a hand pump using a hand pump my elbow developed tendonitis all of a sudden i felt my elbow starting to hurt a lot and um went to the doctor 
doctor gave me one of those uh, uh, bands for your elbow and uh, pretty much told me, you so you got tendinitis. It's tendinitis. And, it, and, and I know it's from pumping the chair because what I did is I uh, moved my chair somewhere else and I, bought, I purchased myself a, a, a barber chair, the, the newer kind. Of course, you know, the, the, the chairs today don't come with hand pumps no more. They come with foot pumps. Foot pump is better, guys. Foot pump is, you know, you're gonna over time. You're doing so many haircuts. You're pumping it with your leg. It's easier than pumping it with your with your elbow. You know what I mean? That's one little tip that I could tell you guys. If you guys are having tendonitis problems and you're using that old school chair, it might be because you're pumping with your arm. And, and and over time, I'm like, it's just developed. And was, and recently, I stopped using that chair. It's been probably about almost a year now, and my elbow feels a lot better, a lot better. So you know. The point is, guys, is that sometimes you're gonna get hurts that you're gonna have to deal with and um, and work through them. You know, it's like when I played football in high school. I remember my coach used to say, "You know, are you injured or are you hurt? If you're injured, get off the field, go get it taken care of. If you're hurt, get back on the field. You know, suck it up and keep working. You know, that's the way it is, guys. You know, are you injured? If you're injured, then take go to the doctor, get it looked at." You know what I mean? But if you're hurt, then you know, then some days you got to work through those hurts. Because, you know, guess what, guys? When you get older, it hurts every day. Every day. You might feel good right now in your 20s, but guess what? When you get to 48, 49, man, it's a lot harder. You know, you wake up more tired, you know? So prepare yourselves, you know? Um, try to stay a little physically fit, you know? And I'm not saying, like, I'm 48. I'm going to be 49 next month, guys. And um, by no means am I in, in great shape, but I am in better shape than I was in my 30s. You know, in my 30s, I was a big boy. Big Al, they don't call me Big Al because of the size I am now. They call me Big Al because of the size that I used to be. I used to be 458 pounds. 458 pounds, yes. And I was cutting hair the way I cut now at that size. Um. I just did it because you know you ha it had to be done, and that's that's what it is. Uh, later on, I had a uh, had a surgery to lose weight. I had the gastric sleeve, and as soon as I, I had the gastric sleeve, I lost two hundred and twenty pounds. Thank God, you know it saved my life. Um, but getting back to this, guys, look, my point is, you're gonna have hurts and you're gonna have pains, you know, in any job, in any job. If you're digging holes and ditches, guess what? You're gonna have your back pain. You're gonna have this. You're gonna have that. Uh, I'm lucky I don't get back pains. Uh, uh, for a while I was getting a sciatic nerve. Uh, that's another thing that it started bothering me from standing up all day. You know, it, it's you know, it's just things that you're gonna have to deal with. Get them taken care of and uh, and exercise a little bit, guys. This morning I got up at 5:45 and me and my lady we went out and did three mile walk. And you know, and it's hard. Uh, you think I don't want to stay in bed? I do. But you know what? If I want to keep going like this for years to come, then guess what? I'm gonna have to keep myself in pretty good shape in order to do it. And 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 it, you know, I don't want to be working like this forever. No, I, I want to. I, my my goal is to have a few shops, and and that's my retirement. They're gonna take care of me while I'm, you know, when I'm done cutting hair behind the chair. And then I'll just work behind the, just charging or something. I don't know. Shoot, you know. But you gotta prepare your body, guys, because this job is no. Don't think this is a cake, a, a, a walk in the park. It's by far not a walk in the park. It is a very strenuous job, mentally, physically, visually. Like after you're at the behind the chair for nine hours staring at the same hair, like your eyes get tired, your brain gets tired. Trust me, it's difficult, guys. It's difficult.
then there's hair splinters. Hair splinters is a different story. That's a little secret, secret compartment between your fingers that builds up with hair. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten those. They're painful as hell. Uh, as you guys can tell on my vlogs, I've been wearing gloves now for probably, uh, it's going on two months now. Uh, always been against gloves, never liked gloves, never wanted to wear gloves. Uh, I always thought they looked foolish as barbers, but now I can see why they wear them, you know. And I've been wearing them for two months now. My hands feel a lot better. Uh, I never, I hardly ever get hair splinters anymore. And, and believe me, it's still an on, ongoing battle. Even though I'm wearing gloves, it's not like they went away. The ones I have, it, it's just, it's, it's kept getting infected. So it's just better to keep wearing not, to keep wearing the gloves. Besides, I've already gotten accost, accustomed to wearing them. It's not that bad. Can I see that? That's where I got my infection for hair splinters. That right there, my friends, is what I'm dealing with the most right now. Hair. So one of the things that I deal with the most is right now I'm dealing with hair splinters, bad elbow, and one of my shoulders hurts all the time. You know what I mean? But it, that's just, you know, from doing it repetitive motion for so long, guys. I mean, there's things you could do to counter these things. I like, you know, for one thing, work smart, you know. The... What I mean by work smart is don't work hard, work smart. I remember somebody told, one barber told me that a long time ago. It's like, he seen me when I was first learning how to cut hair and I was, I'd go one side of the head and I would move, move to the other side and I would move to the other side and I was just back and forth all the way around the chair. And he, and I remember he told me one day, he goes, he goes, he's all, don't work hard, bro, work smart. And he's all like, you know, that's why your chair spins around. And, uh, that's why you should stay on your mat when you're cutting hair. You're like, you keep getting off your mat. You know, what happens is your feet are going to start hurting. You know, and that's another thing. If your barbershop doesn't have mats, uh, I would consider getting your own mat. Because, you know what? That takes a lot out of you guys. Feet. Oh, my God. The pain in your feet. I, I don't know if you, how many of you have been behind the chair for 10 hours straight without stopping. No, 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 no breaks. No, nothing, guys. That's just, you know, it, it, it's hard. And, and it happens in this business. You know, when you least expect it, one day you're going to be super busy and, and um, you're going to be one of those days, you know, one of those 29 haircuts in one day. It's incredible. It's it, it, it's hard. It's it, it's painful. At the end of the day, you're tired. You're, you know, you're burned out. But it can be done, guys. It can be done. Wear comfortable shoes. That's another thing, you know, like take care of your, your feet. Your feet have a lot to do with it, guys. If you guys don't take care of your feet, you know... Uh, your feet are gonna take care of you, man, and and those are the, the bad boys that you stand on all day, you know. Buy yourself good shoes for work, you know. What I do, I'm a big guy, you know, and I used to be a bigger, bigger guy. So, what I do is I keep four, or five pairs of shoes, and they're usually tennis shoes. You know, I don't wear, in, I don't work in in hard shoes. Maybe I should try, but I don't. I wear, in, I work in tennis shoes. So I have five different pairs that I switch around. I never try, I never wear the same shoes more than one day in a row because, and the reason being is because my feet will really, really hurt a lot. And that's just from standing all day. That's, you know, that's one of the drawbacks of being a barber, guys. Uh, this is what you're getting into when you get in this profession. Sure, you're gonna be working in air condition, and sure, you're gonna be shooting the shit, talking to people, watching TV, watching sports, listening to music while you're working. It's not all bad, but, there is some drawbacks, guys. You get ready for some painful, you know, your elbows, your shoulders, your arms, your hands. You're gonna get that carpal tunnel probably. You know, after 10, 15 years of doing this, you know, your your body starts getting tired. And um, you know, I like me, I'm only I'm only 48. I figure I still got 20 more years of this to go. You know, is my body gonna hold up that long? I don't know. You know, hopefully I'll be doing good enough that I don't have to be working after 10 more years. So that's my goal. That's the goal I've already set, and I'm working on that goal. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead into this bank, and um, we'll talk about this a little bit more, all right? You know, it was a really good question, is, you know, what's going to happen to your body? What's going to happen to your body, you know, 15, 20 years from now when you're doing this profession? And um, all I can say, guys, is, you know, I wake up with sores, you know? My elbow hurts, my knee hurts, you know? Sometimes my back hurts. It just depends, you know? But overall, guys, I love my job. I, I wouldn't change it for the world now, you know, and I'm comfortable doing it, you know, and it is hard. Some days it's very difficult. But you know what? I'm working hard now so that later I don't have to work as hard. So 
the more you the harder you work now is that you'll have to work less later you know just keep that in mind guys and you know strive on take care of your bodies drink a lot of water do some walking you know you younger guys probably don't walk but guess what uh when you get older you're gonna have to do something you can't just be sitting behind the chair and that's it you know it doesn't work that way you, you know I, I i try to get up and go walking at least a couple days a week and um you know just to keep the circulation going guys that's it but i'm gonna go back to the shop do some more haircuts uh guys again if there's anything you guys want me to talk about any of my experiences whatever it is you guys let me know and um and i'll follow up with the video man and I, again thanks for thanks for for uh 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 Thanks for reaching out to me and asking me questions, guys. I appreciate it, and it makes it more. It makes it worthwhile that that there's people out there that are listening and you know and are taking all this advice and, and, and soaking it in. So I'm gonna head back to the shop now. Get back to work, guys.